Okay, so this is our audit can. So what we're gonna do is place these out in front of the sprinklers. So we're gonna catch water. We're gonna run it for a certain period of time and then we're gonna look at the millimeters to get the precipitation. Okay, now that we've run our test, what you want to do is go to your catch can, pull the catch can out, wipe it off so we can get a good reading here, and record your value. I'm at 80 milliliters. So we record that on our sheet and move on and record all of our catch cans. 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters. Mililitros. Okay, so another very important part of the audit is checking the pressure. So we want to check the pressure at the first head on the system and the last head. So there's a couple different gauges we have out here. First gauge, this one's set up for rotors. So when you want to have a gauge to check your rotors, we're aiming for about 60 PSI, right? So you want to have your gauge read in the middle about your target area of pressure. So that gives you a real accurate reading. So for the attachment on here, we have what we call Pino 2. So while you put this as right inside the tip of the nozzle. And as you hold it there, the water pushing in will give us a reading on our gauge. So a nice long hose like this works really well. Also for our pop-ups, we have a T. This is a Hunter T. You can get them at any distributor. So you take off the nozzle, screw this into the pop-up, put the nozzle on top, plug in your gauge on the side. So that works really well for rotors. So, since our system right now is rotors, we're going to go ahead and use this gauge. So, come on, let's go ahead and check some of these rotors. Okay, so we're going to take the pinot tube, stick it just inside the rotor there, and we're going to get our reading on the gauge. So, we're getting about 25 psi. So, on this system here, the pump station is not working right now. So that's what's given us such a low pressure because of the number of heads. <laughs> 